a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore. That nuclear weapons keep us safe. It's crazy how we have all been scammed into believing and thinking that weapons of mass destruction designed to mass murder millions of innocent people keep us safe. Hello there. Whilst you make the good point that the hint is in the name, mass destruction, I am going to respectfully disagree with you. To begin with, military technology increases exponentially over time. The destructive power of humans has always increased, and it will continue to increase as time goes on. So unfortunately, we have to have the nuclear deterrent. There's just no getting around it. Secondly, mutually assured destruction is the only thing that prevents great nations from going to war with one another. They are the sole reason the Cold War between the United States and Soviet Russia remained cold. And it is, as we speak right now, saving millions and maybe even billions of lives. Because other people have nuclear weapons, it means we must also have them. Not only for our own protection, but for the protection of others. They are currently preventing billions of people dying from bullets, bombs and artillery shells. If you take out nuclear weapons from the equation during the Cold War, there are several instances where the Cold War would have turned hot. Afghanistan, Vietnam, the Korean War, the Cuban Missile Crisis even. It is the simple threat that if you fire one nuclear weapon, you will receive about a thousand back. There's just no way of surviving it. Which is why they've only been used twice in human history. And that was when the United States had the hegemony over nuclear weapons. And it was also because of the ruthlessness of Imperial Japan. I'm sure the anti-nuclear crowd are very well-mannered people. They are very moral people. But unfortunately, there are a lot of unpleasant people, even world leaders out there, who are not as moral as you. And if they knew that we would not strike back in retaliation if they striked us first, they would then be free to be rampant and go around striking whoever they wish. If, say, Iran, for example, decided to fire a nuclear weapon at us, and nobody retaliated to them because they were afraid of annihilating millions of lives, Iran would be free to sit there and go, well, we could strike someone else then, can't we? There's no repercussions whatsoever. We would have deliberately left an aggressive nation from striking someone else unmolested. You have no idea what they will do when we are gone, but if they can unilaterally strike us without repercussions and wipe us out, they'll be free to do that to somebody else. And this brings us back to mutually assured destruction. If they know that we are going to strike them back, not strike first, is so that whatever tin pot dictator out there is sitting there with their hand over the button going, You know what comrades, this is actually suicide. If I press this button, I would end up dying. So in turn, they will not press the button. So they are currently keeping us safe. It is the knowledge that we will retaliate that is preventing them from pressing the button. And therefore you will be preventing the fiery death ahead of everybody. Regardless of how you may feel about it on an emotional level, personally, the facts are they have prevented billions of people dying. 